Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General reading. This is for the element of Earth. Um, so if you're Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of uh, March 27th through the 29th, 2020. Um, so I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you some clarity. Um, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal reading, you can email me. And that information is below. Um, payments and orders are collected on Fridays. So make sure that you email me. Also, if you want to reach me by phone, that's a separate process. Um, so make sure that you're subscribed so that you can get the notifications of when I'm taking the live calls. All right, let's go ahead. We have the central issue, heart of the matter is the Eight of Cups. We have Strength. We have the Moon. We have the Five of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Ace of Cups, Six of Swords, and Four of Swords. Um, all right, so central issue here is that some of you look like you are going through it. Um, I feel like you're trying your best to be strong, um, to hold back tears, um, and it looks like I feel like you were also being tempted at some point, but you were like, no. It's like maybe you stood your ground with something, but it also looks like, um, it just feels like there is something that you're needing to release though. I feel like you're holding on um, to old feelings, holding on to um, some sort of anxieties or it, it just looks like, looks like your emotions are overflowing. Now, if this isn't your energy, it could be someone around you. But it does look like someone is trying to hold back their tears. And it's very, very hard because I feel like someone really just wants to spill their feelings and, and talk about how they feel, um, cry, purge, whatever it is. But they're, it's just like you're not doing that. Um, it looks like there's also some sort of missing piece of the puzzle. Like there's this emptiness, this void that you're still holding on to. Maybe you don't know how to find what you're looking for. Now, to me, it kind of looks like it doesn't have to be this way, but you're choosing to suffer. Um, you're choosing to be silent or not ask for help or assistance. Um, and then also because, you know, this person is sitting right outside of a place where there's help, uh, I feel like this person is being prideful. So you might be just too prideful to say what it is that you need. Maybe you miss someone, but you, you're too ashamed to say that out loud. Um, Maybe you are needing some sort of food or money, but you're too prideful to say that. Um, maybe you need a place to stay, but you don't want people to know that. So you're like, I'd rather sleep in my car or I'd rather sleep outside. Um, and it, too, it also makes me feel like maybe someone is waiting to be rescued or waiting for someone to invite them in. Um, but it's just like you don't have to wait for anything like just the door is open Now I'm also feeling that this person is beating themselves up feeling like a gamble did not pay off Someone I feel like someone rolled the dice and they were like damn that was a bad bet Or I didn't play I didn't play my cards, right? I didn't play that I didn't play like I should have so I feel like someone is regretting some sort of gamble that they took um even if it is like a literal card game it's like damn i lost my money you may feel like you overspent or over exhausted yourself you also may feel that you're underappreciated 
You might be feeling ignored or like someone left or abandoned you. Um, so I feel like someone also is waiting. Like I said, it just looks like someone is waiting or they feel like, well, I said what I needed to say. Now it's your turn. So it looks like you might be anticipating some sort of response. Um, and it also looks like some of you might be in a long distance relationship or the person of interest is far away. It also looks like someone is watching or someone knows that you're sad, but they're not doing anything about it. They're just waiting and it might not be on purpose or to cause harm, but I feel like someone might be waiting because they honestly think that they have done their best or that they have made it clear how they feel when they have ha when they have it. So I'm seeing some sort of miscommunication as well. Someone is assuming something and they're making the wrong assumption. Now, I also feel like something was offered. Maybe someone did offer assistance or maybe someone did ask you out, but you turned it down. You were like, no, thank you. I'm waiting for this person to offer this. Um, or I'm waiting for the offer to come from this direction. I feel like someone is saying that they have options, but which could be true, but it doesn't matter if if there's only one person in particular that you want to be with, it doesn't matter that you have options. Now there's also a need for you to listen to your intuition. I feel like maybe some of you haven't been listen, listening or trusting your spirit guides, um, but now you're going to go ahead and do that. You're like, okay, let me go ahead and uh, let me let my guards down or let me express what I've been thinking. Let me gradually come out of hiding. So I feel like someone is also gradually coming out of hiding um, and moving towards something that they feel they need to do. Now, if there is any type of traveling, I feel like there's gonna be a temporary block um, I don't know if you live in a restricted area or if it's like you're at the airport and then all of a sudden they're like, wait, there's, it seems like a, a, a temporary hold or block going on with something that you're trying to do over the weekend. I'm also seeing this as, let's say you do finally say, okay, let me tell this person what I've been thinking about. You put it out there. I do feel like there's going to be some sort of immediate movement if there's things have been on hold or stagnated, but then I feel like there's gonna be another hold, like someone needs to think about what was offered to them or you're needing to think about what was offered to you. You're like, I don't know if I should go forward. Let me make sure this is what I need to do. I need clarity first. You guys might need to take a rest or a break just in general this weekend, especially if you work in travel or if you've been running a lot of errands. I just feel like you need to kind of find a place to, to rest. I do feel like someone is needing or looking for shelter, and I do feel like someone will find shelter, um, even if it's only temporary, trying to get away from some sort of madness or chaos going on. I mean, this also could just be, you know, spiritual, where you isolate yourself and meditate to, to get away from all the chaos that's going on in the world, period. Mm. 
You also may be unaware that someone is on their way to you. Like you might have an unexpected visitor or unexpected mail delivery um, or some sort of unexpected communication. I do feel like your health, I mean your health, um, well, yeah, if, if you have been ill, I feel like your health is going to be restored. But I, I was getting ready to say, I feel like your um, faith is going to be restored. Let me look at the Five of Pentacles. I see some of you trying to make contact with someone through dreams or they're trying to do that with you. Yeah, so whoever is sending indirect messages or trying to use telepathy or any type of metaphysical form of communication, I feel like it's being ignored. I don't know if it's you or a love interest or a friend, whoever. I just feel like these metaphysical um, messages are getting ignored because someone is just like, I need to have physical proof or I need concrete evidence. Um, I don't know what that means. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like there's definitely some sort of miscommunication. Someone is tired of playing games. Um, Somebody also is feeling used or manipulated. Someone is like, they only wanted me for my money or people only want me for my body or something that you have. Like, I just still feel like someone would, is going to feel used. Or they're realizing that someone has been using them. Someone is also wearing a mask. They're masking their pain. There's someone who also feels like they love you, but they don't want to admit that or they don't want to reveal that. Or they reveal they have revealed it, but it went over your head. It's you didn't you didn't know. I feel like um, that's been happening for a few people, like all this, all these assumptions, like that's not going to get you anywhere. I don't know if someone is doing that to you or you're the one doing it, but I feel like there needs to be some clear, direct communication between two people. Someone is also regretting taking too long or feeling like now is too late. I should have, I missed an opportunity. So some of you may be feeling like you missed the boat or an opportunity or someone feels like that around you. And I also see that someone has been paying readers or psychics to get uh, readings on you or you've been doing that to someone. I also feel like someone is trying to block or protect their energy. Someone does not want you trying to tap into their energy. At least not that way. Let me look at the Four of Swords. So some of you have been waiting, patiently waiting and thinking about your soulmate. You guys are actually thinking about each other, but not really doing anything about it.
I feel like maybe someone does want to come forward, but they're just like not quite ready. It's like, let me just, let me get it together and then I'm going to come out or then I'll respond um, or say whatever I have to say. Yeah, someone is needing to gather themselves. They're nervous or something. I even feel like somebody is like, I need a drink before I say what I got to say or do what I got to do. Um, so someone is feeling like they need alcohol or liquor to ease their, their mind or whatever before they do what they need to do. Um, now I also feel that something could have been holding you back in the past especially if there was an on off situation with um, a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces i feel like i feel like that cycle is ending and it does almost look like it took you to to have a connection with someone else before you realized that someone was a dead end for you Hmm. Let me look at this Six of Swords. Someone is just trying to move on from a sad situation. I do feel like two people miss each other. Two people miss each other. And it took someone a long time to let go or move on. But it's like you guys are still thinking about each other. Someone is on a verge of forgiveness and putting the past behind them. All right, let me pull some energy cards. All right, additional messages for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we have the garden and the gate, hostilities, man holding a heart, angel of strength. Hmm. Someone is very hesitant. Someone is very, very hesitant at coming forth. Someone is just thinking about it and thinking about it. Um someone does not want to let their guards down and i also feel like it's being misread there's some sort of trust issues some of you don't trust what's being offered or you don't trust something mm. especially if someone is trying to come back into the picture you might feel like you're not innocent in this or you know i don't trust you See, I feel like someone wants to open up. Someone wants to show how they feel. But at the same time, they're being met with confrontation or hostile energy. And someone definitely is not wanting to cave in. Someone does not want to let their guards down in a love matter. They're like, no, I don't trust anyone. I feel like somebody is shutting everyone out. Even if this is you, even if you're the one that wants to open up or wants to love again, that's not the image you're projecting. You're 
putting out an image that you don't care, that you don't want anything from anybody, that you just want to be left alone. I feel like you guys are really trying to protect your heart or protect your energy. You also may be afraid to confront any type of fears that you've had, um, especially if you got hurt or disappointed in the past. But this is saying that you can handle love again. Like if it's about love, it's saying that you can handle it. It's like just be strong. Um, don't lose yourself and just confront your fears. Be courageous uh, and confront your fears. So I feel like this is, for some of you, the green light to love again. But I, it just it does look like you're like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to let my guards down. I don't want to uh, open up. I don't want to trust. Um, I feel like some of you are also trying to prove a point, which is fine, but I, I feel like you also need to make sure that you aren't hurting yourself in a process. Um, especially, too, if it's not just about love, but if it's about, you know, needing help. We're needing something and you're like, no, I have too much pride. Um, I just feel that you're hurting yourself by being overly guarded, overly protective, overly um, uh, prideful. Mm. Oh my goodness. You guys are going through some sort of anxiety. And there's a chakra blocked. The second chakra could be throwing you off. Um, so that can have something to do with like creativity or your sexuality. Um, I feel like something's off or blocked. Mm, maybe some of you are trying to remain celibate. And maybe it's maybe it's something that's bothering you over the weekend. Or maybe you're celibate but not by choice. Maybe because you're coming off as so guarded towards people, you're you know, blowing people off or pushing people away. But in the end it's just kind of bothering you somehow. So I don't know. Hopefully you're able to resolve those things. Um but yeah. Those are the messages that I have for you. Uh, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And many blessings to you.